Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something really more special because I'm not doing any cover videos here. I'm just going to be myself here and I won't be adding anything particular here. But today's as per the description you might have already know, I want to know, give you a basic information about what is Sessions Live. But I'm really much tired now because I just finished my show on Sessions Live and I'm pretty much tired by singing at least 12 to 13 songs right there and basically interacting and same. I was talking with everyone there. But I really loved there. So today I want to talk about Sessions Live and how I got into it, the audition and so many things like that. Because when I first got into Sessions, I was pretty much worried and I didn't get any basic details of the Sessions Live and as a fellow human being or like common people I actually tried to Google them and YouTube them I really didn't find any people who had like shared their experience only few videos were there but they seem to be yeah it was pretty much but I want another video that would be more specific that will be from myself so today I will be sharing with you what my experience with the session side was and how I got into its audition and how the process was and if any of you guys are watching and if you guys have I've got the mail from Sessions Live. I'm so thankful and congratulating you for you know find clicking my video. So what is Sessions Live? Sessions Live is actually a virtual live music streaming platform that is available for all global musicians where they can come from different parts of the country. Many of the artists come together on this live streaming music platform and they get original fan base. Sessions Live, this virtual music global platform, is like we can create the show from anywhere you want. You know, you can create your own concerts from your own room, just like I do. I do my concerts from my own rooms. You know, you really get monetized for your concert shows. I think under the control of the artist so you can do anything you want you can perform the shows under your own comfort and you even can choose the day or the time you want to perform so it's basically under your guidance and you don't have to worry or have too much stress about that so sessions live platform was founded by Tim Westergrand that was the founder of the Pandora and he was a former CEO of that next question that must be arising on every Every one of yours is how I got into that audition right yeah I thought so because you guys are probably wondering how do I get into sessions uh, sessions live is entirely a different platform that's only for music and for artists and something like that so it is entirely for music there's nothing else involved in that like every genuine things related to artistry there is a audition for that so the next thing I will be discussing about is how to apply for an artist for the sessions live. So these auditions are pretty much easy to say in one word. That is, it's in your comfort. That's what I could say. It's how do I get this audition? The one method and the second method that I will be discussing are the only things are so far as I know. The first method is through you just apply go into the sessions live website and you just apply for the uh, streaming sessions or like how to apply for an artist but that filling of the document doesn't really guarantee you the audition because in that section or the google form or anything that application system you have you have to link your any kinds of videos that you have already performed on the social media platform such as if you have a youtube account or you run a channel then you must include the chat video that you find the most appropriate for them so that you will give the link on the documents and they will just fill the form that's all that's how you apply for an artist and the thing is when they review the google form they will definitely check out the video and if they find that your video is presentable or good for their platform they will contact you about the audition so the first method actually includes two process or thing before you get into the audition that is first they must review their your artistry skills before doing that the second method is through the talent scout see the talent scout method is really a lucky thing that doesn't go by every day it's just so random you know so that was how I got into the sessions life thing so one of the talent scout actually found me I think he found me on my YouTube and I did a cover of breathing by Ariana Grande this video 
this video right here if you want you guys can check it out okay that's the song they actually chose for you know they thought that I was good for sessions or streaming like platform so they actually found me there talent scout guy emailed me and told me that they are very much interested in my covers and he said that he will let me know there will be like email like two days after you will get an email from the sessions live so first I was like okay is this genuine or something like that I thought of like because I usually get so many mails like that and I never know if it is genuine because so I was a bit confused so I just left it like that and like two or like four weeks basically five weeks yes what? I was pretty much slow in looking at my email because it actually took me one month to see the email that was really really stupid of me now I think of it I was like I should have checked that mail as soon as I could and I should have checked the spam folder something like that before it got deleted but I was grateful that I had a thought that I should check my gmail account I had suddenly thought of it okay that person contact me that way you know pretty much confused about that so, and he also uh, messaged me on my Facebook on my Instagram as well as my Twitter and I, I thought like okay this guy seems genuine so the next thing I did was I checked out my gmail and there it was I directly got an invite to the audition I didn't have to fill any kinds of forms or anything it was just written that uh, we loved your version of the song like that and we would be very interested for you to participate in this audition and they the thing which I mostly like was that I was able to choose the day and time of my audition I didn't think any further I was just too excited to get an audition because I have been trying to uh, do kinds of audition but I was too afraid of myself because I was worried okay well <laughs> Am I that good enough or perfect or should I perfect it more before doing something? I just did it. I filled the form. I chose a particular date where I was free entirely and I just did. That was one step towards that. That's how you get to your audition. So the first method actually is a two tire process. It actually may take some days because you might know when they will review your artistry or they will review your YouTube videos and if they love what they see they they will definitely contact you giving you the link for filling the auditions now we have the second process that is the audition audition yes now we have the audition sections now you see you are all booked you are all perfect you are thinking like wow this is a good thing now the major things I would like to tell before auditioning for sessions live is like I made some mistakes and I don't want any of you guys to repeat it when you're going for an audition there's basically some things you must clearly remember and the first thing is choosing the song will be the thing that is going to haunt you for every day see after I feel the audition the thing that constantly made me awake during the night was which song should I perform which song is good for my voice which song will impress them I don't want to disappoint it I don't want to lose my chance the thing about this audition is that it's only 10 minutes just 10 minutes you introduce yourself you tell about yourself be interactive with them and then you tell them what made you like music or what makes you so into music and what makes you think that you will be perfect for the sessions live app so that's where the some kinds of things that will be entirely engaged in the first three minutes of your audition and the next thing you will be now boom you will be singing now the song and you have to decide everything and they will decide what sh they should do with you in the further procedures so after you decide the audition and your date calm down I know it's stressful because I even myself stressed for like so many days I was having a constant pain in my chest like you know before we go into stage we are having this so many kinds of thoughts and all I had the same one it's totally normal it's everything is fine so the first thing you must do for better audition is that you must have a laptop laptop is absolutely necessary because they are gonna have a virtual audition thing or like they will send you a platform where they will be doing your virtual audition so you must be ready for availing that audition through your laptop laptop is the most convenient method okay, I recommend the viewers who are watching this that you should also do the same that you should find a, a laptop with good web camera that you need a good condenser mic you need a good condenser mic for performing for your audition this is because you really need 
to amplify your voice as much as possible without any kinds of distortions or any kinds of external disturbances when you do your auditions so that you get a clear idea and they can decide if they want you in session live within that first 10 minutes itself. I performed for my audition with my condenser mic and judge who sat on the other end of the screen said that I made a good choice in choosing the mic that was good so I guess there might be some people who won't have any mic so you, I would advise you to choose a better earphone or anything that has good quality sound capturing ability in that so that your voice will be crystal clear and so nice the other thing about the audition is that you can't do any a cappella version of the song don't do any a cappella version of the song because if you have visited like the sessions platform you have seen that majority of the artists like sing with a backing track or a karaoke or an instrumental for their song or they play with their own instrumental like that so you can't do an acapella version you can't just sing your voice raw until they tell you so we might have seen on several tv shows and auditions like they tell you to sing acapella unless unless they tell you don't do it do it with a backing track or a vocal next thing i would like to tell is don't do any pre-recorded version of your song like you play them and don't do lip singing or anything like that just be live in that performance don't do any rec recorded version or try to add some kinds of effects and all like you know but the judge actually want to hear your raw audio and how you will be performing because it's a live streaming platform so don't add any kinds of filters or anything before auditioning or you, even if you are deciding to do some kinds of that so don't do it and that's all everything the major technical availabilities or the needs that you need for your audition and the next thing is the music or the song you're gonna perform the song or the music that you must perform must be really comfortable with your voice and that must actually present your original voice that's comfortable in your own in the language that you might know much more so don't try to uh, include any language that you don't have any clue idea just because it has some high pitches different notes and uh, harmonizing everything like that and ad libs and falsettos like that don't try to overthink it just find the voice that you can be comfortable with and that's far more enough for your online auditions now the online audition process as i told you it's basically like 10 minutes the thing is this audition is really a quick process it ends in no time you will be like entering the session one minute and the next thing you know you are out you are out of the auditions because that's it it only takes 10 minutes to evaluate for them they will be like they're entering and you will be interacting hi how are you everything will be going be interactive with them keep a smile and try to you know interact with the people don't be don't show any kinds of tenseness i know you will be tensed inside but just remember that this is something that's one time life opportunity that you'll be getting it doesn't come every day so just be happy be yourself just imagine that you're doing in front of your friends or family like that so just enter you enter into the online audition the thing is i would advise you to enter into the online audition just five minutes before so that you can get uh, your voice is good and if the sound check is perfect and if your camera is good the angle is good and your backing tracks are on point everything you need to check so, so you must make a clear point of that you must practice as much as you can so so many people uh, will have now the questions how much should i practice for my online auditions see it's totally up to you until you feel comfortable but somewhere in the article i actually found that you must try to you know practice your vocals with the music everything until you get tired of the song itself so practice as much as you can and there is nothing like less practice just try to practice until you know you can remember the lyrics without even looking at the lyrics or something like that and to the online audition i told you it will be very fast and once you enter the platform five minutes before you do your sound check boom they will be there in no time so they will be asking you to introduce yourself just introduce yourself be casual just be like a friendly manner and they will tell you to sing the first thing you take it deep breath and sing the song you have prepared 
just go with the flow just sing it just smile and feel the song and sing whatever you would want to do so right after the audition itself the uh, judge who actually sat across your screen will give you a clear information and they really are honest okay if your singing might sound bad or need some improvement they will just tell it right away now on to your first show so if any of you guys are watching here and have already made their online audition into a success thing <laughs> clapping clap, 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 clap. that was absolutely amazing of you and i'm so proud of you so if you have made the audition this is now you might be wondering now how am i going to do my first show and that too in live streaming so right after you finish your audition you will be getting some instructions so in sessions live platform you are supposed to use the OBS uh, studio that software that you are supposed to do a live stream on you have to do it and you have to learn how to do it so download the OBS stream studio if you are selected for the audition download it if you are like don't have the mic still now I will recommend you to buy a condenser mic so that your live streaming performance can be much better just follow the same procedures that you used in your online audition for the same live streaming platforms don't worry you don't have to worry about your first live show it's like 20 minutes is like the basic timing you will get you can it's a minimum requirement at the first show that is 20 minutes you must perform for 20 minutes and if you want you can perform like for one hour or anything like that after that but 20 minutes is like a basic requirement so you will be wondering what song should I sing next so choose the song that makes you comfortable and more makes me more happy while singing at all so choose your favorite songs the songs that you might be randomly singing so choose that songs the other procedures will be told to you by them so on the day of your first show prior to your the timing of the booking of your first show you have already done since they will give you a time a performance time so you can choose the day and the time you want to show your showcase your first show so you can just choose any day you want clear instructions and also you have, don't have to worry about that and I will not be sharing those details with you because they will definitely help you and guide you because sessions guide and the support system is really helpful and they're really understanding and they're really calm and they are like the best people I have already met so I'm really grateful that I met them so they will really guide you through the entire process and when you start doing your show it's that's it that's how sessions live goes further and then you can after your first show you can schedule your next shows and the good thing is you get monetized for your shows and that's really absolutely a good thing so you get paid and you're happy and you're getting your good fan base and they become your genuine fans within month something like that so i actually have been doing this for a month and i actually thought of doing this video for a pretty long time i thought like will it seem silly for me to just come on and tell everything but i want this like there will be many people out there who might have got their audition and they might be wondering what are the requirements you will actually get a set of documents like what are the requirements for the audition at all but you will be still wondering like is there anyone out there who actually experienced this that can tell me how their experience was so that's what i wanted to i wanted to guide you and tell you that what were the procedures and how sessions live so sessions live is giving me a great experience it has boosted my confidence but i really found to be you know very open this time and i'm not that afraid as before uh, when I had my first show, I was really scared. I was tense. My voice didn't go as I wanted because it had some kinds of, you know, dryness. And also, I was not really that confident at the time because of my fright. But I'm much better now. I'm doing my sessions much better. And I have also scheduled my shows like four times a week. And those people who are yet to audition, do give your best to find a song that makes you happy. And and makes you project your original voice that's it that's it for today's video i hope you guys had a great day and i hope you found this session streaming better informative than i expected now one more thing and if you want 
you can apply to the artist to the sessions live and I have put the document down and if you are seeing this you can definitely fill up the form and you should not forget to include any kinds of YouTube cover links that you might have already performed and in the artist reference section you can use my name and the email ID I have uh, provided down in the comments or I'm showing it here again so you can use that and don't forget to use it because you received this document from this video or that I have uploaded so so do include my name in the artist reference section and apply for an artist and give your YouTube link so that they can evaluate and decide whether they should give you an audition or not just try it okay just try if you uh, are consistent with the music if you have passion for music and you're like I'm ready to perform like four times a week or three times a week and you have a good laptop good internet connection and a good condenser mic then you can be an artist at your own home and you can do your own virtual concert shows so if you like my video then be sure to give me a thumbs up and also do subscribe to my channel love you bye <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you